welcome to the History Hunters channel here on YouTube. Uh, almost everything you see here is about the Second World War, relics and history from that time frame. I'm out at this uh, ammo location that I have a map from and uh, searching for more of the uh, ammunition pockets here in the hillside. Here is actually one of them. See the square cut out and I pulled in the wagons with the ammunition, pulled over the uh, camouflage canvas and then had a very very good way of storing the ammo without the Allied being possible or having the possibility to bomb them so I'm just gonna walk in this road here and I'm gonna look for a small house that I know was here during the war time so see if I can find that and see if I can share some of my findings with you here today so I'm coming up to another pocket here you can see it's been cut out into the hillside doesn't look like too much but uh, the vegetation is taking care of discovering or closing them up but uh, this is the same one it's another ammunition pocket here so gonna look around see if I can find something and share my findings with you here today just a sort of an iron bar haven't got a clue what it could be this small place here has uh, shown to be able to share some quite interesting things so See what we can find more than just this rusted piece of metal. I might be wrong about this, but I have a aerial photograph of this area from 1937. Nothing is mentioned, you can't see a road or anything. Then I have another one in 1952, and then you can see this road, and you can see this is the foundation of this road leading through. And it definitely looks like something that the Germans could have put in to put in the ammo storages. Here's another ammo pocket over there quite big so there must have been about 30 or 40 of them in here yeah it looks like things are picking up here that is actually a live cartridge so now we're talking this is a live either MG or um, a uh, cartridge from a uh, K98 rifle I'm not able to see the date here but that is really cool first point which proves that was a ammo storage here that is excellent that is excellent this is definitely a place where they discarded some ammunition you can see here they have two now I'm not too sure whether there would be more here but I'm gonna check it out but that de des definitely raises uh, raise the the bar to knowing that this place is the ammo storage area that looks very much like an ammo box lid, if you ask me. But I can never be sure. Uh, too rusty to find some details, but it really looks like that. That little thing turned out to be quite a nice little thing from the past. You can see an 88 millimeter uh, German crew loading up these. And those are the wicked type container. Uh, it contained three rounds for the 88 millimeter. It was a metal cover on the end, uh, hold on by a leather strap. And the base was in metal, uh, round rubber stops on the bottom and the top to prevent and protect the fuses against jarring and the rest of the container in wood and con wicker construction. So the lid you saw is actually one of those. You can see this piece here. It's exactly the same thing, and that is one of the um, wicker type container for the 88 millimeters. So definitely they stored 88 millimeter munition here, and who knows what else we can find. This pile here looks like just some sort of rubble, but it's actually I think it's a chimney. Because I found something that's been cemented up, and it looks like the chimney. You can see some reinforcement bars there, so that's probably where they had the fireplace of this small building. And then it, that could be the proof that it was a barrack. That's the typical piece of a fence pole was stuck down into the ground, so probably after the war has been cut down, and they took it and used it, so we'll recycle it to another piece of material. 
and the minefield is just over the hill here so the minefield was just on the drop on the back of this hill so that it was impossible to get into this ammunition area without passing the, the uh, elaborate minefields that they had I'm hoping to find some mine detonators actually so let's see what if we are lucky to get that I'm just next to the uh, barricade this one comes up very very heavy sort of weight so that could have been used for anchoring down some of the camouflage canvas who knows not easy to see what it could have been but it, oh, I can't lift it, it's at least 10 kilos that's interesting this close to stream here I got a signal under the tree look here that is a signal flare and looks like it has been a blue one and there will definitely be something to I could maybe read some of the uh, numbers on the back I'm not going to clean it here, I'm going to take it along and see if I can find anything on it later it's definitely a cartridge because I can see the back there so it's a flare, signal flare of some sort and by the look of the top there it looks like it could have been a blue one cool, could have been used by some of the guards here or something just stumbled across a running trench going up this way and it goes directly up towards the uh, the small housing so it goes down here, further up here all the way up to the road and where the small sort of uh, structure was wow, have a look at that that really looks like the back side of a artillery shell uh, carrying case I found some of these earlier both at some um, Atlantic wall fortifications on the coastal line definitely uh, a lid, it's almost like a surface find so it's a lid and uh, this one was connected to a container which he then again had a uh, shell inside of it wow, straight up there that would have been interesting to see if I can find some details but it's too rusty I think but that's a surprise I don't know a lot of cables on it so it looks like it could have been an electrical item but it's very rusty definitely a uh, mud flap looks pretty old in rubber would definitely be from one of the trucks here delivering the uh, the ammo back and forth here cool got an electrical connector thing here funny thing about it, it says uh, vessel that sounds very German like for me so it could have been an electrical connector on uh, one of the housings here vessel alright that's another ammo lid it's not a coincidence that they are here almost like surface finds because it was probably discarded after the war and they just threw it around so that's why you can find so many of them the road is up there, one of the ammo pockets are right there I found the ammo box lid and now I'm finding this and that's a definitely uh, recognizable item that is the holder of a artillery shell inside one of the uh, transport containers this piece is sort of in the end and its usage is to centralize or put into center and hold the tip of the, uh, the artillery shell wow that is so nice didn't expect to see that a piece here is missing on that side but that is really cool that's a very rare find actually wow in that pile there's a very small relic can you see it? I guess you can't but it's right there and that is actually a pistol or a gun uh, revolver sort of uh, thing so I'm gonna clean it a little bit in this stream water here you can see it and you can actually read read the back of it I think here we are small live firearm or a sort of a gun pistol cartridge definitely gonna clean that and I'll let you see what it is cool thinking maybe this could be an interesting live dig so I do think 
this is another one yes it is have a look here is another one of the uh, artillery shell sort of pieces that holds the artillery shell inside the uh, the box which is it in or, or container and let me see this one is actually more complete it's filled with a lot of soil but it's actually complete so let's have a look here yeah it is and that one is definitely coming back I'm gonna put that through the electrolyte and we can see how it looks afterwards hopefully that is so neat that is a relic from the German Wehrmacht's ammunition storage area and clear as ever right from 75 years ago in my hand that is connecting with history and I really really like that that is really what I call a dream hit looks like I'm just underneath one of the ammo storage pockets and another one so there you go the ammo pocket is right there this is underneath it so they just discarded it here maybe they loaded it and they used it they just threw away this I don't know that is amazing three in one that is so cool I really got what I came for today there's another one that is almost a surface find but nevertheless it's a piece of the past been lingering here all the way since that time amazing so the roots are treaded inside of it nature has tried to claim it back wow look at that now I got four of them and some of them are in really good condition so I'm gonna clean those and you can see them afterwards maybe I'm lucky I'll find some more up here that is amazing finding four of them at the same spot that just gives me what this place is this place is an ammo storage for sure excellent all right next to here is another one so what I found is a dump site from where they dumped the pieces that I didn't need from there either flak gun crew guns or other type of guns they used this is so cool the light is fading away very quickly here but now I just found something that I really enjoy that's the small details can you see it I guess you can't because it's there and for those who doesn't know this is a Mauser clip from a Mauser K98 rifle and I really enjoy this because there are some numbers and you can actually see this number here let's see if I can make it clean enough for you to see it let me see if I can zoom in let's have a look see if the camera P28G is that cool or what? And in very good condition so that is also something that's been here for a very long time and that's also just next to one of the uh, ammo pockets here that is so neat this trip has really been very very enjoyable and uh, brought back a lot of small details from the past this is very special do you see I'm just sort of pinpointing around here and there's a lot of signals in the ground there is something there is something there is something here so I feel very fortunate now to be able to pull up as many as these here today there's another one here probably that's absolutely unbelievable very 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 lucky here today what is that well, that's a piece of one so it's probably down there rusted away yeah it's something in here there it is there's another piece of it so that one is destroyed can't make any views of that but this one let's have a look that's even one more I don't have count of many how I found how many I found today I'm babbling along here <laughs> wow that's special there are the other threes another one coming up here <laughs> you just have to say yippee when you this lucky finding that many things at the same spot same location that is incredible eight or nine now and uh, 
this can really be cleaned up I think cool all I need is this you see there's another one right there I've never been that lucky in my life when it comes to these relics so another one and I think there were some signals up here I'll find them with the detector wow that many huh absolutely stunning there you go artillery shell centralizer unit whatever they're called <laughs> so here we are German Wehrmacht ammo storage pocket looking for the past see what the history will share this is some of the things I found today you can see these I just got one two three four five I found 12 of them these are the ones that I'm going to put into the electrolyte and uh, clean them and see how well they will come out sometimes they have some numbers sometimes not but that's a uh, pretty impressive uh, proof that there was actually a um, ammo storage here we got this massive lid here for a bigger cartridge in that transport case we got the um, shell uh, the um, uh, whatever you call it um, I'm stuck help me out here uh, flare signal flare two machine gun or K98 live bullets we have the uh, small which looks like could be a 9mm, I don't think it is, maybe 7.62, whatever. And the uh, clip from the Mauser K98. All in all, it's been a very, very exciting sort of experience. Wow, that place was so fantastic. I believe uh, a lot of the things you saw were from the 88mm, especially the 7.89 round cylinders that kept the uh, uh, shells uh, in center uh, of the... Uh, casings that they carry them around in just a beautiful spot and yeah i did go back not just one but several more times so check out those videos i'll put links in the description for the future videos and you can check them out if you're not subscribed please do that hit the notification bell to the right hand side of the um, subscribe icon uh, if you want to support me you can watch more of my videos you can share comment subscribe um, if you check out the Patreon PayPal thing, you can take part in uh, my monthly World War II diorama draws that I do on the end of each month. Check that out and you can see what beautiful artifact you can actually be the owner of and history will be everywhere, which is my motto. So lots of 88 millimeters coming up this time. Next time, you just have to see it. Some of the finds are pretty cool. So. Stay in tune and check out those videos. Also, there's a lot of good material on the rest of the videos that I have, so check them out if you want. Um, other than that, thanks for joining me here. Thanks you, thank you for your kind support, especially my Patreon and PayPal supporters. And I will definitely be back in a new adventure in the very near future.